بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Welcome back Today we're gonna study how to model a fluid system how to derive the equation of motion and how to derive the transfer function All right Now let's uh, uh, understand this uh, fluid system Okay What do we have here? We have a single tank with a single valve Okay Uh, so at T, before we starting the dynamic, before the dynamic system is starting, everything was at steady state. Okay. So when at, uh, let me place this. Uh, this is for the time before we starting the dynamic system. T less than zero. Everything was at steady state. We have a steady state. So whenever you see this bar, by the way, whenever you see a bar, what does it mean? This bar, that 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 means. Uh, this is steady state. It's not changing with time. Okay, it's st steady. All right. So the flow inside the tank is steady, Q bar. This is how much. And the flow outside the valve, it's also steady, Q bar. And the head inside the tank, also steady, H bar. Okay. So before the system starts, the dynamic system, everything was steady. It's not changing with time. Okay, we call this steady state. Okay, now at t equal or sorry, at t equal or greater than zero. So at t equal to zero, what happened starting from zero? What happened? I made a small perturbation. Perturbation means a small change. Okay, small deviation in the flow in, and I'm gonna I'm gonna call it. Small qi, small qi. As a result, there was a small deviation or small perturbation in the flow out of out of the valve, and I'm gonna call it small q out. And also, as a result, there was a small deviation or small change inside the head, and I'm gonna call it small h, small h. Okay. So. Also, it's what's given here and here. The, the R, the resistance, is, is a constant. It's a constant. This is a constant, okay? All right. All right. Now, what you need to do, I want to derive the equation of motion of this system, the dynamic system, after I start the timer, when I made the small deviation, and also find the transfer function. When the input is a small qi, this is my input, And this is my output. All right. So keep in your mind, by the way, keep in your mind, the steady state is a large number, like 2,000. This small deviation is a small number, like 10 to 30. Okay. That's why we call it small deviation. So this small deviation will make the dynamic system moving. Okay. Will make this change. This system dynamic will become. We will have Q out, small Q out, small H. Okay. All right. Now, how to derive the equation of motion? Okay. We start, well, this is the equation of motion, by the way, but I will show you how the proof, how did I get this equation of motion? I started from the capacity, the definition of capacity, which is the D volume by D H, the head. So D volume is a small, is a QI, the flow in minus the flow out, right? In general, DT times the time over D H. Okay, so we're going to take dh to the other side of c and dt to the other side. So c will be the capacity, which is also a constant, which is a cross-sectional area. It will be dh by dt. What is dh by dt? This is the rate change, the time rate change of the head inside the tank, equal to flow in minus flow out. This is the general, pro the general equation for any problem. We're going to apply now this equation. We're going to apply it for this system, okay? All right, this is my dynamic system. Okay. This is my dynamic system. I'm going to apply that now this equation on this dynamic system. All right. So what you're going to do, a D volume will be what? It will be Q bar. Okay, D the flow in. What is the flow in here? Q bar plus small q. By the way, don't worry about everything here. 
This is the conclusion. We're going to start always from this conclusion for any steady state problem. This is just a proof, okay, for your own information. How did we get this equation? So don't worry about this, okay? So the flow in will be Q bar plus QI, small QI, minus the flow out, which is Q bar, steady state plus small Q out, DT over DH. All right? All right. And DH is what? DH is uh, capital, the uh, uh, flow of the steady state plus the small deviation H. All right. So this is steady. What does it mean steady? This is going to be zero. All right. So you're left with the small H. This is the small deviation. Okay. All right. What about this one? This one, what will happen here? This one will the this one will cancel the uh, the steady state will cancel with the steady state, and you're left with the small Q I minus small q out dt take it to the other side so this is your equation of motion okay which is good for small deviation around the steady state this is your equation of motion okay see the capacity a constant dh by dt equal to small deviation qi minus the small deviation q out this is your equation of motion all right now how many variables do you see here how many variables or functions we have uh, this is going to be a function changing with time this one also changing with time and the head inside the tank changing with time this is constant so we have uh, three variables or three functions how are we going to find the transfer function how are we going to find the transfer function q out over qi we need one more equation we need one more equation so this equation that we're going to use is the resistance inside the valve the resistance inside the valve we're going to use it as additional equation since this is a uh, uh, changing with time so dh by dq okay remember how we get this linear we're going to linearize this this is a steady state problem so we're going to use the uh, equation that we derived here where is it this is laminar this is turbulent yes this one after linearization you remember how to linearize it's going to be small h over small q. You don't have to prove this, but you need to remember, memorize this equation. When you want to linearize a, a, a resistance inside the valve for a steady state problem, it's going to be simply the head over uh, the, uh, the head before and minus after over the flow uh, inside, small deviation. So it's going to be the head over the flow inside, which is small q out. Okay, so this is equation number one. And this is equation number two. Okay. Now, how are you going to find the uh, transfer function? Okay. How are you going to find the transfer function? Let me do it again. This is equation of motion. C, dh over dt. I'm going to do it from the beginning so you can concentrate with me. Q out. This is equation of motion. So I'm going to call it number one. And this is the other equation, linearized resistance. It will be H over Q out. Equation number two. How are we going to find the transfer function where the input is, where is it? This small deviation, so in the, it will be capital letter because it's in the S domain. QI over Q out. S, huh? It's a function of S. How are we going to find this? Take Laplace transform, assuming zero initial conditions, just like we did in chapter four. So from one, take Laplace transform, it will be C is a constant, dh by dt, s, h of s, minus or equal to qi minus q out. You don't have to show this S because you know that capital letter means it's in this domain. I don't want to confuse you. Where is it? Okay. So this is equation number three. And from two, from two, R constant, H, capital H, over capital Q out equation number four okay uh, let me have one more slide
Okay, let me rewrite the equation here again for your convenience. Let me rewrite the equation. I have C. This is C S H equal to Q I minus Q out. Equation number what? Three. And R equal to H over over what? Q out. It's equation number four, right? We call it four. Yes. Good. Okay. So how are you going to find the transfer function? Which is uh, Q out over Q I. Okay. From four, this one. Uh, which one? You need to eliminate what? We need to. Uh, we substitute. Uh, we need to eliminate what? We need to eliminate H. So from here, H is equal to R. Q out called equation 5 so substitute 5 and 3 in order to eliminate eliminate what H therefore 5 this is going to be C S H what is H R Q out equal to qi minus q out how are we going to find now the transfer function collect all the coefficient of q out together on one side and q out on the other side so this is going to be rc rc s plus one times q out equal to qi and therefore your transfer function that we're looking for q out over qi will be what will be 1 over r r r c s plus 1 okay what's the order of the system first order system okay so this is the equation of motion that we got q out over q out so we derive now. Now we know how to derive the equation of motion. Okay. And now we know how to derive the transfer function. All right. So, and this is the general uh, problem. This is the for any problem. This is the general equation of motion that you need to remember. C d the h by d t. This is the general h. Flow in minus flow out. And you need one more equation describing the flow inside the valve. Okay, which is usually depending on the resistance. Okay, so usually you need two equations for any single tank, for any tank. You need two equations to derive the uh, transfer function. Okay. All right. Most of the problem are steady state problem with a small deviation around the steady state. So usually we're going to apply directly the small uh, deviation. Okay. We don't have to prove it every time to prove that the uh, steady state will cancel. All right. And R will be linearized, okay? Just like we did before. You need just to remember this. You don't have to prove it. All right. So we're going to stop here because in the next example, shall in the next video, we will start uh, modeling a multiple tank. Multiple tank, similar to a single tank, just more equations, more work. All right. So we're going to stop here. Thank you very much.